In this screencast, I'm going to demonstrate how to copy code from Arduino into a Microsoft Word document. I'll be using the Macintosh version of Microsoft Word from late 2018, version 16.19. I have another screencast that demonstrates these same operations using Word for Windows on Windows 10. And there's enough differences between these operating systems and Microsoft's implementation of Word that you really are going to need to know the differences. Here's an example of a fairly small Arduino sketch. I want to copy this entire sketch into my Word document. So I select all the text, go Edit, Copy, or I could simply hit Command A and then Command C and then come over to the Word document and I'll make some space here and I'll do Edit, Paste, or I could simply say Command V. And when I paste this code text in, there's a lot of extra vertical space and the font is different. We want to fix both of those things so that the code appears similar to the way it does in a code editor like the Arduino IDE. I'm going to turn on the paragraph markers and recognize that your uh, system may be configured slightly differently. The paragraph marker might be on or off and the actual spacing between lines could be different. I've got a paragraph above and a paragraph or two below. That allows me to select text above or below. I'm going to select all of this code that I just pasted in. And the first thing I'm going to do is change the format of the paragraph so that the spacing between the lines is not so big. Format, Paragraph, and this dialog box tells me lots of things. Under spacing, it says there's eight point spacing after each paragraph. I'm going to put a zero in there for now. It could be adjusted later. And now my code is much more compact. Let me zoom in and have a look at this code. We see these uh, comment statements here are uh, not lined up, whereas before they were lined up vertically. I also can come up here and notice that under void loop, there is two spaces before the digital right and the OID take up the same amount of space. Whereas here, the OID, each character is of different width. Usually when we format programming code, we want to use what's called a monospace font. I'll zoom back out. I'm going to select all this again and I'm going to change the font to Courier. That is a monospace font. It's a little wide here at 12 point. I'm going to make it 9 point so that it fits on the page. You can experiment with different monospace fonts and font sizes, but we'll just use Courier 9 for this demonstration. I could do this every time I wanted to paste code into my Word application. I'd have to change the paragraph line spacing and then I have to change the, the font selection and the font size. I can automate that somewhat by using a very cool feature called styles. Over here on the right edge of my uh, ribbon here is something called the styles pane. I'm in the home tab far right and depending on how wide your computer screen is this may or may not be visible in quite the same way but I'm going to select it and currently this is called normal. I'm going to create a new style by clicking new style and I'm going to name that style code. And it's based on normal. And already the format is Courier 9. And I could check my paragraph formatting to see that it's also zero points after. So Word has looked at the formatting that I had selected at the time and by saying I wanted a new style, it said, well, I use that code as the basis for the style. So I'll sit, hit OK. Now, I've just created the code style, which shows up in this list, but my current style is normal. So let me make sure that I apply that style to this block of code. And you may be thinking, wow, that's a lot of work. Well, this work is about to pay off. Let's suppose that we have another block of code. And for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to just use the same one again. Command A to select, Command C to copy, come down here a little bit, Command V to paste. Same problem. Vertical line spacing is not good, the font's not good. I'm going to select 
this text again. And instead of manually going through the steps I just did previously, I'm going to come over here and click code from the style. And what that did is it applied the code style to that block of text. That's pretty handy. So by defining a style, you can then reuse the formatting very quickly. The other thing you can do is you can change the formatting. And when you change a style, everywhere in the document that that style is used, the formatting is updated. Let's see how that works. Let's suppose that in addition to the monospace font and single line spacing here, I would like to put a box around this code. Come up to Format, Borders and Shading, select Box, hit OK, and now I've got code with a box around it. Well, I sure would like this style to have that feature. It didn't change up here because I've just modified it. And you can see that in the current style uh, display, it says code plus box. However, if I come down under code, under the list and update to match selection, the first, first instance of code formatted with the code style is now also updated with this. And you can keep adding features and updating this. Let's, let's do one more, one more example. Let's suppose that I want to change the, 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 the width of the text. In other words, I want to have it not span the entire width of the normal text. If we put the ruler on here, we can sort of see that a little easier. So I can come up here, I could select this block, and I could move this ruler in here, and I could move this ruler in here, and then I could say one more time, update to match selection. Or I could come in here and do modify style directly. And in the paragraph, I see that I could add a left and a right indent specifically. So I'm gonna make this 0 0.25, 0 0.25 and hit okay. And when I hit okay here, I'm not only gonna change this indentation, but because this style, this block is also using the same style, I've changed that indentation as well. So using styles is very powerful. Uh, once you get a certain format that you like, you can save this. So I would, I would be tempted to save this document as a template and then reuse it as I do homework or, or any other circumstance where I need to format the code. Uh, you can add additional styles for uh, figure captions, uh, equations, headers. Everything you see here can be changed. And it shows here as recommended. I can also select styles in use. And this just shows the styles that are currently being used in this document. Or I could say all styles in the document, whether or not they're actually being used. So check out styles. It's a great way to speed up your formatting and also control uh, a document so that it has a uniform appearance.